All right, so we have five different trays here, 90 earrings total. So here are five earrings that I would choose to start a jewelry store. The first one is 0.20 total solitaire stud earrings. These ones retail for 125. If you want to know the wholesale price, just DM me. But uh, I want to pick these ones because it's an entry level uh, price point to get into the other earrings. Uh, the other three that I chose are these hearts right over here. This pair of sapphire uh, clusters, so it has a halo of diamonds uh, surrounding it, it's called cluster setting. The other one are these in and out hoops. So in and out hoops means it has uh, diamonds on the inside of the hoop and the outside of the hoop. The heart, sapphire, and the hoops are all within the $500 price point, which is the price point for the mass market. This one over here with the heart is uh, 0.52 carats, uh, 0.520, so 520 means I love you. So uh, hearts are good for anniversary, birthdays, or uh, other special occasions. Uh, it's completely iced out, so it has a big look. And also, hoops are great for every day. Earrings are also great for every day too, because uh, especially if you're someone who works with their hands a lot, like uh, maybe a nurse or dentist or a doctor, you know, earrings you can wear in the ear and they won't get caught in anything on like a bracelet or a ring. And then I chose these sapphire earrings because uh, earrings are great to start a jewelry store in general. Because if you have the earrings, you can take one of these uh, earring studs and make it into a ring or you can make it into a pendant. So you have a full set. And also the reason I chose the sapphire uh, cluster setting is because uh, you can take orders on these. So sapphire is a birthstone for September or some people have a sapphire anniversary, ruby or emerald anniversary. So you can replace the sapphire, take orders on it uh, for ruby, emerald, sapphire, other gemstones or diamonds. <laughs> And then last but not least, we have uh, this 1.36 karat dangling earring. So it has some baguettes in the middle. It's great for a wedding and it's also good to stock up on uh, one bigger item. So let's say if you're starting a jewelry store, you do about 50,000 USD uh, retail sales per month. And then you stack some, uh, you stock up some bigger items. Uh, maybe it's uh, 10 to 50,000. So maybe you can double your sales in one month by stocking bigger items. So instead of just stocking all low price point items, we have some uh, three medium price point items here and then a higher price point item here. So in order to start a jewelry store, I think you need to kind of have like an entry level item like this. Uh, maybe the bulk of your stock is more uh, mass market price point around $500 US retail. And then you have some of those uh, bigger bridal items which will help you boost your monthly sales. And those are five earrings that I would choose to start a jewelry store. So, five earrings to start a store. One of the five earrings that I would choose to start a store. Right off the bat, I would pick this one right here. Because I like, I like topaz, so that's a no-brainer for me, so I would pick that. And uh, second, the earring that caught my eye was, was actually this one. This big circle one, because I don't know, it just it just looks like it has a lot of diamonds in it. So right away that, that caught my eye compared to this one right here. This one has like two layers of like diamond, circle circular diamond. Diamond halo. Yeah. Third one would be this one right here. <laughs> An elegant look in my opinion, like the hoops. And then third the fourth one would be this square one right here. So, the same reason as the, uh, the, the circular halo one, but this one is square and I think it really, looks really, really nice. Has a lot of stones in it too. And uh, the last one, 
for variety for a store, you know, I'd want like the customer. What if the customer wants to choose something really simple? I would pick this one right here. The small one, right? Just simple solitaire stud. So. Simple one, yeah, just, just for you know for, for uh, variety. That's my uh, five bits to uh, start a jewelry store. And on top of that, if you make a website with uh, five of these items here, you can tell them that it's available in 18 karat uh, white gold, rose gold, or yellow gold. So five times three, that's already 15 different uh, SKUs or uh, unique. Uh, item numbers and on top of that if you make it into a pendant or a ring so you add three more items so you have uh, 45 different SKUs already to start your jewelry store so that's how you can start a jewelry store with just five different earrings make the stud into a pendant or a ring and then you have a full set there you go